guys, this is Captain Pan on Pete. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario 64. So in the last episode, we completed Womp's Fortress. And now, in this episode, we are going to go back to... Bob on Battlefield and complete that stage here. And of course, in the last episode, we also got the red cap. So we're now going to go ahead and finish out finding eight red coins. You mean you know what that means? It's on our mission coin time. On our coin mission time. So yes, let's go ahead and start pummeling away and getting these hundred coins. We do want to go ahead and I, for LP purposes, I will do them together unless I, you know, can't do it together. But I think it's probably in our best interest to actually do it together, so that way there isn't any mistake. I mean, of course, this is a long, drawn-out process. Now, it is possible to do the hunter coins without the red cap, but it'd probably be wise if you did it with it because it'll save you a lot of time. So, we're just gonna go through that, and of course, these enemies do respawn again. After you you know, destroy them like that, so you do want to kind of take them out if you can, and just kind of well, since he already got to me, ow, bomb, and he's gonna get to me again because he saw me. Thank you. I'll take your coin, please. Thank you. There we go. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get that red coins. So now that we're gonna go ahead and start picking apart what we our objective here. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. And of course these guys are coming up. There we go. Thank you. Koopas! They're in this game as well. Some are not friendly, some are not so friendly. But they do have five coins for you, so that, that does come in handy in completing this task. There's two right there. And you really think you want to take me on, Goomba? You really think you want me to take me on while surfing on this thing? You've got some serious issues. I mean, serious, serious issues, eh? Watch out for the chain chop. Go ahead. He's going to follow me in the way. Gotta be wise about how to progress through here because. You gotta run, you gotta vacate the premises. Ah, oh, oh well. A Koopa shell is probably a use. I, <laughs> shut up! Okay? Really? Dude, shut up! I mean, gosh. <laughs> Alright, so we can go ahead and pick up some coins. Go ahead and just let him chase me. Of course, you do lose a life if your power meter runs out. There's some instances where it'll run automatically. Alright, I need to get this. I need to get some of these coins. Because they are necessary for my success. Alright, get that. That's just a way out if you need to go out. So let's just kind of ignore that for now. Go ahead and get these. Oh, one up, one up, one up. I know you want me, thank you. I know you want me. I had no idea. <laughs> Alright, so let's kind of go ahead and get over here. That guy up there is so determined to take me on. Back up. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on these Goombas. There we go. 50. So... That way, we'll get the, get those red coins later, because we know where to go, because that's where the red coin thing is. Go around this thing. Gives you at least five coins, so that does help you. And around and around each of these, it's guaranteed 20 coins there for you. And you got to do it without touching the, I think, the log itself. 
And this is probably one of the difficult 100 coin missions. I'm going to say this is about average in difficulty compared to other um, courses. I'll leave those red coins there for now. Don't really need to mess with them because I will be coming back to complete this area right over, my, right over here. I'm going to go ahead and go up. I'm going to run up the hill. Get up the hill. Number five. I'm gonna still run up the hill. Just gonna climb. I don't care. Because I know I need to get up here anyway. Alright, so we got this. Let's see what this is all about. Nothing. Okay. And this guy is gonna self destruct because he's already fuming. So, let's kind of go ahead and go up the mountain. Whoa, a lot of bowling balls of death here. We don't want to take the shortcut quite yet. He's here demanding cannons, but... Of course, that's pathetic, and I lost a coin. Oh, well. There's many more coins. Yeah, I think there's over 140 in this particular stage. Not to worry at all. Alright, so there's a couple here. So 84 there. Get ahead and get this one. Get in the cannon. Yeah, because that is our ultimate destination right over there. And if I can catch the tree. There we go. So we know we're seven in ATAR, so we don't need to do that, worry about that again. Let's see, where is the oh, it's on the other side of this tree? Alright. So, we'll need to come back and do the stage again. For sure. Because there's two more power stars we need to get. And we got 95 stars. Or 95 stars. 95 coins. Or earned coins, by the way. Alright, so we got 98. We really don't need to go back up there again. So I'm going to let this run out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just... Get out of my way. I'm going to go ahead and run on this way because we really don't need to be up there anymore. But you saw the numbers on those rings. That is something for later. And that is our 100th coin. Here we go! Alright, so let's go ahead and save. There we go. Here we go. Not bad. 14 in 15 in the bag. Here we go. Alright, so we picked up two extra lives. Not too bad. Let's continue on. Now we gotta go back to that island in the sky, because that is what we need to do. Mario wins the sky. Yeah, because this is what we needed to red cap for in this particular stage, so. Now that we're able to complete, and I know some of you, most of you already know how to play this game, but this is a let's play. You know, for those of you I, that have watched the verses, you know how to play this game by now, for sure. So, I mean, seriously, but, you know, speedrunning tactics is very, is somewhat difficult to do. Especially, you know, when you have four competitors. You know, that are probably may not may or may not be a more advanced for you. All right, so that's the power star. What am I doing? I need this thing. This is the one. There we go. You can use the cannon or not, but it's recommended that you do use the cannon. There we go. It is recommended that you use the cannon. All right, so all right, I hear the goon up there, down there below. All right. So Alright, I missed it. But yeah, you, you can do it one shot if you hit right. I just had to do that because I was trying to stop myself. Go ahead and get this. Get the cannon, Mario. Okay, thank you. And this is what brought 3D um, platforming games to life. I mean, it, it, it transformed video gaming up a lot with this particular game. I'm trying to get in the center it. I'm trying to get that fourth one. I can't the fourth one. Can I get the fourth one? Not 
on. Yeah, I'm still flying in circles. Let's see if I can get it. Now, I can hit that. Number four, which one am I missing? Oh, I see the one I'm missing. Alright, alright, let's refresh it again. I'm gonna try this. Is it this one? Ah! That was the one I missed. Okay, well, let's go ahead and hit it. And dive bomb it. Oh, missed it. Do oh, I missed. And Goomba's just trying to kill me as I get the power star. Uh, seriously, a bunch of losers. Alright, so... Now we got one more stage, and it's behind Chain Chop's gate, and then I think we'll go ahead and go on to course number, uh, I think, three. And let's go ahead and, actually, let's just go ahead and use the cannon again. It does, I think it saves time if we just use the cannon. And I think in one of the verses, I did use this as first, get, this was actually the first Power Star I did get. Alright, so, easy peasy, just got to... Be careful around this guy. He is pretty lethal. He's pretty lethal, but if you get it right on the first try, all you gotta do is just... There you go. It's really easy to do. I mean... There we go. It's number 17. We're making quite a bit of progress in this particular episode. Alright, so that is the end of a bomb battlefield. Believe it or not, that is the end. I think we just... I don't think I ever show you. You've the mastered important jumping techniques. First, try to jump. Run fast. Jump three times. One, two, three. If you time jumps right, you'll hop, skip, and then jump really high. Next, go for distance. With a long jump, run. Press Z to crouch. A to jump really far. Do the wall kick. Press A to jump at the wall. And then jump again when you hit the wall. Got that? Triple jump, long jump, wall kick. Practice, practice, practice. You don't stand a chance without them. Yes, that is true. Because that's you need to get power stars like that. You can return to the castle the main hall at any time from painting worlds where enemies live. Just stop, stand still, press start, press get, pause again, and then X course. You don't have to collect all the power stars at one course before going on to the next. Return later when you're more experienced to pick up the difficult ones. Whenever you find a start, a hint for finding the start for finding the next one will appear on the course courses start screen. You can, however, collect uh, any of the remaining stars next. You don't have to recover the one described by the hint. All right, so yes, you can can uh, you know go in different orders if you, you don't want to, but I'm gonna try and go in order. I mean, it's been a while since I've gone in order, but. Of course, you know, I'm a little, you know, picky about how I go in order and stuff, so we're going to go on to the next stage, which is Jolly Roger Bay. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so this is a swimming stage, but before we actually go here, let's talk to this toad. Names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. Collect stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Alright, so that's what we just went through already. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump up in here if we can. Of course, this is a swimming. And I must say, this is actually one of the best swimming themes in the entire game. I, I think it is, anyway. Especially the remix. I think they should probably use this in future in, um, Mario games. But this Mario game is actually one of a kind. I mean, believe it or not, this is a Mario 64. This is one of a kind. and I don't think they've actually used this. Probably until maybe Mario Super Smash Bros. I don't know if it's in 64 or maybe... M Melee, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of... But listen to the theme. I'll let you listen to it. Mm 
one of my favorite themes. One of my favorite themes. Themes. So we got eight. Easy peasy. Mama Luigi. All right. So let's go ahead and retrieve no but eighteen. Here we go. There we go. All right. And one of the cast's secret stars, so I think that makes number five. No, number four. We still got plenty more. I think there is also a one up up here. Yep. Oh, then that bounces down. Of course, I didn't get it. <laughs> I mean, really. But as I say, are you using the cap box? You really should, you know. Make them solid. Yeah, we already know about switches. There is one stage in here we cannot do without the green switch, but, you know, of course, it's possible to do without, but I'm gonna just pretend I'm not an expert at this game, <laughs> so. Plunder in the sunken ship. Jolly Roger Bay. And more of this. More of this song. So, let's go ahead and do it. How am I doing? Yeah. Today is not has not a been great day at work, and I'm kind of frustrated. It's and it, uh, my time at work. You know, I've been working for this one company for almost a year and a half now, and I'm having trouble, <laughs> to say the least, because although I am you know experienced at what I'm doing somewhat, it's just I'm having trouble dealing with you know the some of the mechanics here. I mean, it's just some things I'm being forgetful and some things, other things, it's just... It's the material things I think it's somewhat irritating me more, but... Now, what you do here, you got to get the eel to come out. Or somehow. And the only way to do that, I'm going to pick up some coins here. Let's get the eel to come out. Because that's where we need to go in the first place. Go up. And then we need to go back down. So now the eel is out and about. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird how they did it, but... Oh, uh, come on now. Don't tell me... No, he's not getting it back in this freaking... No. No. No, he is not going back in. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, work has been a problem for me, and I got to hurry. And it's material things I'm having to deal with, and I'm trying to. It. Let's just say I'm having problem working with the public. I've always had problems, you know, make meeting new people, and it's. I'm guessing it's just the exposure to new walks of life that has me a little bit, you know. There's just so much I'm only willing to take. If you know what I'm saying, I'm going to try to get up here, because that would definitely help. There we go. And being exposed to all walks of life is somewhat difficult. I mean, we live in a multicultural world world, and especially when it comes to, you know, our beliefs and stuff, and I'm having trouble. I'm, seriously, I'm having trouble. And it's just, some, can the eel come up to play? And I don't want to worry about my man, Gina, seriously. And we watched the verses, Mara called, had said the eel had a man, Gina. I mean, that's what she said. So... But, yeah, I mean, that's been an issue for me when working at this job. I just want... I just want to get out of it. I mean... I, it's... And part of it, yes, I'm in a store that sells tobacco, and I'm... I swear, and there's just a lot of things I just can't stand, and tobacco being one of them. I can't... I can't stand it anymore like I used to. I know it's part of the job yeah, having to sell things. Excuse me, Mr. Eo. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? I mean, really? I mean, I mean, <laughs> and I know that's an interesting glitch. Oh, 
Start. Thank you. Don't get the power start. And yes, if you run out of power, you will die. You'll choke and die. So just kind of work with it. All right. So number twenty. So yeah, I'm having trouble. I am having trouble. You know, getting along with people. I don't. I do admit it. And it's and having to work all these hours just. The exposure of it is sometimes difficult. And I, I, I guess I'm just saying there's hope. And there are some very nice people I've met while working there. And even though they you know, tend to purchase tobacco, I mean, it's one of those things that you. It's getting along with people that you may or may, dis may or may not disagree with and stuff and such. So it, it's it's one of those things. I'm gonna kind of just jump through here because it's, all these pillars are gonna get. So I mean, I don't know if it's that you may understand or not, but it's. The exposure of it sometimes is just... Here we go. It's very difficult to live with. And... Not only that, the procedure so, at work sometimes... When you work by yourself, it's sometimes it's just... BS. And I think we're going to do the 100 coin mission and then we're going to end the episode. Along with the red coins here. So... It's doable. It's understandable that why I'm frustrated. But a lot of it is just because I'm just trying to it, putting up with it is sometimes difficult. If you know what I'm saying. Come on, Clam. Say ah. Say ah. Yeah, thank you, Clam. Say ah. Pet picture, picture Josh Jepson as a Clam. <laughs> Ow. But it, the, the exposure is sometimes, I guess, it, it just depends on who I know and who treats me with the same kind of respect that, and I don't want to call, think mean things of people because I, you know, don't want to call people names or think anyone's a bad person just because of what they do and I I judge people what they do a lot of the time. I mean, seriously I do. And some of the things people do, I mean and some people what they think and what they do and would you Yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> well, I don't care. I don't care. Let's just go ahead and get the hundred coins while I'm here. Ow, 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 thank you. Come on, thank you. But, I think there was a... If you ever watched DS9, it was Major Kira who was talking to Zial, the daughter of Gold Ducat, and the Cardassian leader. Major Kira told her in, you know, when Gold Cop betrayed Captain Sisko, the only thing is people judge you of what can't judge you of what you think or what they say, but they judge you for what you do. It's sometimes difficult judging people, and when you, for, for me, smoking, I judge people because I am not. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of tobacco. I don't like being hanging around people that don't like tobacco. Or smokers, or whatever. Because I think it, they do an injustice to their bodies when they do it. And that's why if you date, uh, if you're a lady and you smoke, you're automatically disqualified from being considered as a you know, potential future wife or anything. 
I mean, yeah, unfortunate, but it's how I, um, choose my dates and stuff, because I, I see it as, it shows me don't respect you and your future when you, you know, do something like smoking. Because you're new and not... It just it shows me you don't have respect for yourself. I know it sounds, you know, obnoxious, but it's the truth. I'm gonna go ahead and open the can because I will need it for a future, um... I need it for a future star. I'm gonna go ahead and open the can. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure, you know, there's some, you know, ladies out there who are very nice and polite and and of course, they smoke, and, uh, you know, I understand, and I just, and there's a lot, of, a lot of them who do smoke, understand how I feel, you know, I, I feel somewhat isolated because of it, because it's a cultural thing, and it's, sometimes I do feel, like, socially isolated, because, you know, smoking is kind of, like, thing that you, someone, some people do just to fit, fit in or something like that. And understandable, but at the same time, was this the red coins? Yeah, this is the red coins. Somehow, I feel like I'm missing a few. I don't know why. I hope I got them all. I don't know. I'm hoping I did. We'll see, because we got about we gotta find three more, and there's some coins outstanding, so I don't know. Let's see if I can find some coins. Oh, I know where the coins. I should remember this. I did in the verses. There's some coins here. Yeah, this will definitely help me towards my hundred hundred coin goal. All right, let's get this. Get these. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just, you know, I don't, you don't have to, to me, a lady does not have to own a gun, smoke a cigarette, have a tattoo, just to impress me. I mean, damn it, I keep messing that up. I mean, that, that, that's, I mean, I have incredibly low standards, but why waste on something like that when gamble with, with your future just because you want to do something like that. I mean, I I don't understand it. I don't think I'll ever understand it. But it's just... It's, it's silly. Alright, so I gotta get this power start. That'll be the 100 coin start. And I'm off camera <laughs> while getting that power start, but it don't matter. I need to do a backflip. Mario, do a backflip. Yeah. Yeah. That's there. Number seven and yeah. number eight. All right, so we got our hundred coin star. I think yeah. we're gonna end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Here we go. Leave a like. Also subscribe if you want to see more. Also check out my multiplayer channel. Um, which the link is also in the description below. Also, yeah, I. Just want to say, you, know, you don't don't do smoke cigarettes. I've committed my life, and I tend not to try to judge people too harshly about this kind of thing. But you know, who knows? So, but until next time, this has been Captain Pat LP. I will see you guys in the next video, Spoons. <laughs>